Hey, welcome. I'm Steve Watson here at Someday Farm, uh, doing a bag drill. Uh, this uh, bag drill works best with standing heavy bags. You'd have to do another version from a hanging heavy bag. Um, and it works fine with just one bag. I just happen to have a few bags out here. Maybe I'll make it a little clearer by moving these two fellows. Thank you. So uh, the practice here is about range. Um, obviously working with a heavy bag, make sure you have your hands cared for. So that probably means, uh, uh, bag wraps, hand wraps, or bag gloves, or both. So the idea here is that when this bag is struck, you know, maybe it deflects something like this, right? And we could say that if I was going to get out of the range, I'd move from, let's just simplify and say from here, and I'd have to move to here, or certainly with my arms up, maybe even further if I'm trying to get out of the range. But just to simplify, uh, the range changes from here to here. And of course, if I hit it a little bit further, that range would change a little bit even further, which means that in order to get out of that range after that deflection, maybe the bag is out of my range or functionally out of the range or out of the range of more of my weapons. Um, so the idea here is to notice that while we could make a case that the bag has come over to this range and to get out of the bag's range is to move there, it allows us to miss the idea that if I had just been here, I can stay just as close to the bag, probably keep many more of my weapons deployable and not have to eat up time getting out of range and coming back into range. And I've also, I've gotten out of the way of the thing that's coming in, whether that's a kick or a punch or a sweep or a block or a grab or whatever. Uh, however, this is much more tiring for people generally than out of the range, into the range, out of the range, into the range, offline. So the practice here is to hit the bag and then come out of the range by going down, out of the range of the threat, but not out of the range of the uh, center of the of the target, you know, the stance of the target. So whatever stances you have that allow you to go down, the practice here isn't just to turtle up and, and fold over and kind of expose your back, um, although that could be a reasonable answer depending on the situation, but to actually do it in a stance that works for you that you learned, right? So strike and lower the stance here. Now, you can certainly do that and bring the arms up so that the arms receive some of that blow and you lower yourself in the stance. But ideally, what I'd like to do is hit it and then use the stance enough that the bag doesn't hit you. So here's the bag moving and there's the stance. Here, I'm just kind of pulsing it. Obviously, it gets a little easier as the bag comes back to center, but harder because now I'm on step number 10. So we can do this as a coordinated thing where I change my stance and check it with my arms, or I change my stance only and it's not allowed to hit me, or I change my stance and check my structure and it can hit me a little bit, but I've certainly taken something out of it. So that's one version of the level change that I'd like you to spend some time on. So thank you very much. Please be sure to comment and share the videos. Thank you.